what's up and welcome back to my channel now today i'm going to be giving a review for the NECA universal monsters the wolfman ultimate figure now i've been planning on getting this one for a while but like i said before i was having trouble picking up a lot of these like figures because like what happened with like the COVID 19 or the coronavirus a lot of things were getting like delayed and then, like certain products weren't put out on time where you couldn't find them in the places you usually find and i found this like in the best buy i had one time the movie theater and it was like a Best Buy across the street, and that's why I picked this one up from like a Best Buy. I went in there and looked at the uh, the products and stuff they had. I said, like, "Oh, they had the Wolfman." That's why I went ahead and picked this one up. But anyway, I'm gonna get into this uh, right now. Now this is the box that contains the Neko Wolfman figure, and of course this is based on a 1941 film, which had Lon Chaney Jr. In the role of the uh, the Wolfman. I did get to see this here recently at the theaters. They was having like double two like double films together I think they did uh this one was with uh I think they did this for man if I can remember correctly because I know they had Drac Dracula and uh, Frankenstein together and I think the Wolfman was with the Invisible Man I saw both of them so I did get to see this in the theaters so I already had seen this one like a long time ago anyway but this is like the box art for it so it has like the theatrical poster it has him on the side right there y'all can see images of the figure on the back right there too as well and the accessories that it has it has uh, includes three heads, five hands, cane, bear trap, interchangeable feet, and a stand. And of course, you know, when you open it on up, this is how it looks. They also have like the other uh, black and white version too, but I have like the color version, as you can see. So yeah, let's open this on up. This here is the background diorama that comes with it. Okay, there is the NECA Ultimate the Wolfman figure. So what I'm gonna do is measure him. Now I have him on the stand. I'm gonna talk, touch on that in a moment. Now on the stand, he's like almost eight inches. Like he's over seven inches though. And I have him on a NECA stand too as well. Now I wanna touch on one thing. Now they do provide you with this particular stand right here. It's like a small stand, like with one peg on it. Cause you can tell it would fit like one foot, but I was trying to get him like to stand on it, but I was noticing that that it, it wouldn't like uh really hold him that well. I know it's like you have to force it in too, like forcing into his foot, but when I get it in, that's like he still didn't really stand with this uh particular stand. So I just went ahead and chose to go with my own stand. Cause I do know that he does have a lot of trouble like standing, as you can see. Like he like he tends to like fall over, but on this it seems like he's a uh, he's. But it does seems like the actual uh, these kind of neck stands are the ones that are uh, really uh, hold the figure very well. And yeah, but like I mentioned, they do give you this though too as well, like a stand if you wanted one. So I guess some of us probably can get hold of that. But I know it does seem like this stand is like the. Uh, the better one for holding, for my opinion. Other than that, I do like you need it too, because you won't, you won't like stand. But I'm going to talk about the, uh, the articulation and the likeness of the figure too as well. Now I must admit, this is a, a pretty good looking uh, head sculpt, right? I think this is a, a good likeness to like the Wolfman. I like how they sculpted the hair too and everything, even like the beard and stuff. So I think they did a pretty good job right there, that neck on. Here's like his shirt and stuff too as well. The pants. He even has on like the uh the, the feet too as well. You can see he has those hinge and hinges in the feet too. And that's how his feet look underneath. I was suspecting that he would have trouble standing too, because the way even when he's walking in the film, you know, he's kinda of walking like kinda of like on his toes, like when he's walking. So I do that when design a figure like that. Here are his claws too as well. Now his head can turn left, right, he can look up, he can look down, tilt it. The arms can go up. It gets kind of tight right there. And you can like bend them too. So he does have a bend in the elbow, hands can turn too. And he does have a bend like in the knee too as well. 
It looks like those are kind of loose too, they're not tight. And here are the feet too as well, you can rotate them, turn them, all that kind of stuff. I'm betting because the way it looks, it looks like you would be able to get them to uh, stand if you got the feet just right. You'd probably be able to get them to stand without a stand. But I think this is an awesome looking figure, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Now I want to move on to the accessories that come with the uh, NECA Ultimate Wolfman figure. These for her are uh, two feet, or two foots that he have. You have the left and right feet. And these are how the, uh, the pegs look. And that's how they look right as you can see. And you get a left and right foot too. I know what they stand. <laughs> then up next, he gets uh, three hands. You get a left. This is like in his human form, too, as Larry. You get the left and right hand like this. Then you get like a, a gripping hand. You can, tell, you can tell that this can hold something. Then you get like a, a head scope. For uh, Larry, or you can say Lion Chandler Jr., here's like his head scope. Now, I think this is a pretty good head scope. It does like, look like him, like the likeness to Lion Chandler Jr. I think it does look like him. Hair scope is pretty good, too. Uh, and that's how the head actually looks like the, the joint. Mm -hmm. Up next, you get an alternate Wolfman uh, hair scope. So it's pretty cool. They gave us like two uh, head sculpts for the uh, Wolfman. This one he's like, like frowning, like growling, like. You can tell that it is like uh, different from this one right here, as you can see. Now I'm going to change him into his human form so we can see how it looks. I'm glad we have the option of doing this too. <laughs> All right. And this here is how he actually looks. Like in the uh, Larry form, like with Lon Channing Jr. Which is pretty cool. I like that they gave us the option to be able to do this. His head is like loose too though. It's like very loose. But you can like just fix that. If you press it, it'll stay tight. I got the hands on and the feet on. I noticed they came up for... Uh, pretty easily too and his peg he does have the peg holes on but they're right there like around like it's uh the back of his feet so all that's even there too as well and this is how his wolf feet look too they're just like how the human feet are just showing them and of course you got the two hands too like the two wolf hands and then you got the two wolf heads two wolf man heads as well I do think that's cool that they gave us the option to do that. Instead of like making up a whole other figure. That's pretty cool. <laughs> now I want to move on through the other accessories that come with the uh, NECA Wolfman figure. You get like this cane right here too as well. So yeah, here's the cane. Then you get the uh, the bear trap too as well. This looks kind of cool too, nicely done. They also have like this thing right here, like this loop that you can like push back. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, you can like lift it up. And then you can close this up like that. So that's, that's pretty cool. So this is like articulated. You can move it. They close it back up. That's nice. <laughs> now I want to compare the NECA Wolfman with my uh, NECA Frankenstein, with Ultimate Frankenstein figure. This is another one that's like amazing, too, as well. Now this one does stand, though. I'm just using like a stand for it. So as you can see, this is how this one looks. Uh, Next to uh, the Wolfman, like the size comparison of how they look. So of course Frankenstein is like much taller than the uh, Wolfman, or well, Frankenstein's monster, as you can see. Uh, 
So yeah, I think these are both some uh, awesome figures from NECA. Like if you're a fan of like, the uh, Universal Monsters line, I'll definitely recommend picking these on up. <laughs> okay, that's the NECA Universal Monsters, the Wolfman Ultimate figure. I think this is an amazing figure. It does have some trouble like standing when you have him like in his Wolfman form, but when you have him like in the uh, Larry form or the, the Lion Chaney or the human form, he does seem to stand up pretty well if you have those feet on him. And I think this is a pretty cool uh, figure, like the way NECA had designed it. It looks awesome, like the likeness to the Lion Chaney Jr. I think it's pretty good on this. So yeah, I'm definitely uh, kind of happy about having this. And I was having trouble actually getting it at one point. I know this was actually released like last year, you know. But then it started popping up here eventually, like in stores and so on. But I found it in uh, Best Buy. That's why I picked up mine at Best Buy. So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. So this is the NECA Universal Monsters, the Wolfman Ultimate Figure. And this is based on a 1941 film. I would definitely recommend it. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.